everyone. Welcome to Mm-hmm. Coffee Talks with Tank. My name is Keith. It's not Tank. Surprise. You know this. Uh, but this is our first ever special patrons only episode of Coffee Talks with Tank. So it's just me and you. It's just me and you, patrons. All four of you. Four? Five? One, two, five. Five of you patrons. Um, yeah, so welcome, 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 welcome. If this is your first time, welcome to the show. If it's not your first time, welcome to the show. Thank you for being here. Thank you especially for being patrons of Tank Media Games and for supporting me in this hobby that I work at like it's a career. I was thinking the other day, you know, I always feel, you, I've said it on the stream and stuff before that I feel bad whenever I start talking about money and I feel bad when I start talking about wanting to make money off of this venture, off of Tank Media Games and stuff. But I was thinking about it in the in the car yesterday and the thought crossed my mind was like, I work this like a full, like I'm working like 40 hours a week on this. At, if not a little, maybe 35 like 35 hours a week on tank media games on top of my other luckily my job is 35 hours a week and not 40 for full time uh where i work you know i'm working this gig like a full-time job maybe i shouldn't feel so bad having one little show where you have to pay to watch it um but i hope you enjoy it i hope you enjoy this episode but this is our first episode that is uh requested by a patron thank you so much um, for requesting this episode, Helen. Uh, Helen says, I'd love to know what you wanted to be when you grew up and how does your adult life now compare to what young you thought li adult life would be? The quick answer for what did I want to be when I grew up, for much of my childhood, I wanted to be an astronaut. Why? Because space is cool, dude. Do you need another reason? then that space is cool and you'd like to be there. But that didn't last too long. For, for a lot of the childhood, it was astronaut. But it was never... Once I found out what you had to do to become an astronaut, and I learned about how many astronauts exploded, I thought, eh, probably not. Maybe not the astronaut for me. Maybe not being an astronaut. Maybe being an astronaut is not for me. Is astronaut for me. Uh, so I think from there, I kind of developed a more practical view of the future. Honestly, I didn't think too hard about it. Really until I got to college, which is kind of scary. Um, but I remember being a kid, I, I, I really respected my dad. Um, my dad made good money doing what he did. Uh which for some reason I thought was being an electrical engineer. He went to he went to college and became an electrical engineer. Uh, and I thought that's what he did as part of his job with AT&T and all these cell phone companies, but he, he was just a man he was just a manager of people who did the the engineering stuff. Um but I respected him and, and he made decent money doing that and I thought oh maybe I'll be an electrical engineer like my dad the idea of being an engineer was intriguing to me um, uh, it was like not super high level like you have to do tons of education to be one but also it's a respected level of education where you know a lot and you're skilled at a thing uh, so I thought that that might be what I wanted to do and I, I was going to go to Clemson um, in South Carolina, the uh, Clemson University. I was going to go there and, and learn to be an engineer. Uh, but it was at senior year, I had a few people that I knew that were going to a different school. And I went and toured at that school. And I thought, ah, I like this. I don't think I really want to be an engineer anymore. I'll go to this other school and I'll study business. Because for some reason, I got this idea that I wanted to own my own business one day, so I studied uh, business and entrepreneurship um, at Charleston Southern University. But I still didn't really know what I wanted to do. But in the back of my mind, I, it was, there was this latent, always wanting to entertain people kind of thing in the back of my head. 
when I was in high school, I made this very close friend named Brandon, and we st we are still extremely close friends. Um, and he was very creative, and together he and I had funny video ideas that we wanted to make, and so we made a few of them. Uh, Will Tank in high school, he came to me one day. He's like, "You have a video camera, right?" And I was like, "Yeah, I have a video camera." Um, and before this exchange, we had already filmed a video uh, that was um, a very summarized version of Beowulf that was extremely funny, and we got an A on in class, and it made our our teacher laugh a lot. And so we'd already made one video together for class, and he was like, "Oh, I got an, an idea for a video." So we got together and made a video. And I wish, I wish that at that moment, that's when I realized that I wanted to make video entertainment content for people to enjoy. I wish that it was at that moment that everything came together and I knew, oh, I, I want to make people laugh and, and smile and be happy on the internet. I wish that's, I wish I realized that. But at that point it was just like friends goofing off and making funny things. Um, so I went to college, really no idea what I wanted to do. And eventually, once I, right at the end of college was when Brandon and I started making videos with Tank Media Network. And I was like, this is what I want to do. I talked about it in, I talked about it in the passion episode about how I was watching Rhett and Link one day and I was like, that, that's what I want to do. That, I'd love to do that. Um, and that's what we tried to do for a long time, but it just, you know, never really took off or became anything and, and it still hasn't, but hopefully maybe one day we'll be able to get back to making stuff together more regularly so I never really had a concrete I've been talking a lot I apologize um, I never really had a concrete idea of what I wanted to do I never I wish earlier in my life I decided I realized that I wanted to entertain people the way I kind of get to do with you guys on Twitch and, and here and on YouTube um, I wish I'd realized that earlier but it wasn't until the end of college that I realized that there are people out there making a business and making a living out of being independent entertainers on the internet and I thought that's what I'd like to do so at the end of college I was like give me give me two or three years I bet before I'm married I'll be making a living doing comedy doing entertainment comedy whatever you do on the internet not so I uh, graduated college in 2016 it's been five years uh, and still uh, we're a lot closer with tank media games and I thank you for that but we're still not quite there yet um, so I think when I was a kid, I probably pictured my life as a lot like my dad's and my mom's just, you know, married to a woman that I love. Well, they were divorced, but I didn't, don't picture my, never, never picture myself divorced. I picture myself married to a woman that I love. I've always wanted to have a couple kids, um, and doing something that I really like to do. And... It wasn't until the last couple years with Tank Media Games that I've been able to actually begin making a little bit of an income doing something that I like to do. So life is different. I'm 27 years old and I am not where I thought I would be at 27. Who is? Very few people I think are. Uh, I'm not currently making a living doing what I love, but you guys are making it a lot. A lot we're getting a lot closer to that. So life is different than what I expected it to be. Um, I don't know if I really fully answered the question so good. I kind of got caught on my life story there at the beginning. But yeah, I just, I thought I would, I, I really did think early on I'd just probably have a regular job and I would have a wife and some kids and we would have a cool family. Uh, but now I want all those same, same things except the cherry on top would be being able to, to provide for that family. Um, very doing uh, be able to well provide for that family by doing something that I truly love which is entertaining you and uh, making you laugh and smile and giving you making you feel like the world isn't quite as bad as it seems um, so yeah things are different than I thought they would be um, but I think if I could go back to my younger self and be like hey we we're not quite where you think we're going to be but let me explain why things are good let me explain why on paper 
these things may not look as good as you hope that they will but let me explain why why it's cool that we're at the place where we're at you know we're married to a beautiful lady she's extremely smart she's challenging to us she is a lawyer very cool very cool gal so and then actually if i was talking to my younger self i'd be like oh she's over there she's in the she's in the other she's in your class she's in the other homeroom <laughs> uh so i could tell him that and then i could say and we're and right now you're thinking about children having those sometime soon that's cool uh you're not filthy rich like all kids not all kids like maybe some kids expect they'll be one day when for no reason you know you're not filthy rich but you have enough money to get by uh and eventually you'll realize that you want to entertain people for a living and you'll try to do that and it'll go slow and then eventually you'll start playing video games on the internet and people will respond to that at some point um at least 600 of them or so so yeah it's different i'm talking too much the show has gone long uh but this that's what you get when whenever you listen to coffee talks with tank it's just casual baby it's just casual the life is different i would love to hear from you how your life is different than what you thought it would be where did you think you'd be at your age and where are you now how is it different and please if you want to comment here future episodes of the show that you'd like to hear from me on or if you would like to comment them on and wait for the patreon post you can do that i will see all the comments that you make but would love to hear from you on this topic as well and i hope you've enjoyed coffee talks with tank i know that was <laughs> a long bit of talking and a long bit of information but hopefully it's it's stuff that you may not know that you may be interested in um coming out of my head into my mouth and out of my mouth and into your ears so thank you so much guys for being patrons um i hope this show is worth a dollar a month to you and thank you so much for supporting me and being my friends and hanging out with me on the internet and making it feel like i can affect some sort of good change in the world through entertaining and and being me uh i look forward to the next time next episode uh go check out any of the other stuff we have uh and thank you so much for being patrons of tank media games please remember that i love you all very much bye bye